Hey guys, this is Drax, back with a guide on how to apply mods in Star Wars Battlefront 2. As you guys have seen by now, there are quite a few great mods being added to the game, and you probably want to know how you can use them as well. You may also be having some problems with mods since the last game patch, so I'll let you know a simple fix to get them working again. Now my current favourites are Sly's lightsaber and firefight mods, which make the game look closer to what the lightsabers and blasters did in the films. I also love the No Hologram mod by Durangler, which takes those horrible holograms away and gives you a clearer image of your character or vehicle on all the applicable screens. Hopefully in the future these mods will be implemented as part of the game as they definitely improve it visually, but for the time being we'll just have to stick with the mods. Now as far as I'm aware you can only mod the PC version of the game, so to do any of this you will need the game on the PC. With that sorted, let's get started with the steps to install these mods. The first step is that you need to make a free or paid account on Nexus Mods. I will have all the links needed in the description to help you out. Basically, just fill out your information and don't tick any of the payment options if you want a free account. After that is done and you have verified your account by email, you'll be able to download whatever mods you like. Once you have them downloaded, you unzip the files so that you can use them. Next, go back to the mod page and where you downloaded the files from, you should have a link that allows you to download the Frosty Mod Manager. I also have a link to this one in the description. Download the manager, extract it and launch the program. When you first launch Frosty Mod Manager it will ask for an executable file and here you want to choose the one called Star Wars Battlefront2.exe under Origin Games. Once that is set up, click the import mod button at the bottom left of the mod manager to choose your mod files which should be in your download folder. Apply all the mod files that you want, make sure that Origin is open and launch the game. Now the game should launch with those mods applied and you'll be able to enjoy it more with those custom visuals kindly made by these modders. Every time you want these mods active you have to launch the game with the mod manager. Since the latest patch hit, the game wasn't launching for me with those mods applied, but for this you simply have to delete your mod data file found under Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the hard drive. After you deleted it, launch straight away with the Frosty Mod Manager and it will create another directory that will work for the new game version. So I hope this helps out anyone who has been wanting to install a few mods but didn't quite understand how to do it. I definitely enjoy this game more with the mods applied and since there is loads to choose from on the Nexus mod site, you can customise the game to your liking. I personally would advise keeping the mods to appearance only though, as anything that actually changes the gameplay could result in a ban if you use it in multiplayer. So that's the guide right there, I've tried to keep it simple and to the point. Any questions let me know in the comments, as always thanks for watching, have fun with the mods, and I'll see you next time. 